Welcome back to Cities Skylines, and I gotta say, our Cities Skyline is definitely coming along. We got we got some taller buildings now. <laughs> um, so last time we sort of built out this area, it's actually changed a little bit. I've added a bit out here. I did some low density. I don't know if I like that. I do want some more low density, but I really kind of want probably more houses like this. So I might have to maybe set up a custom theme that only has like townhouses in it because I don't know that I really want like this little house next to like this building. I feel like a house next to like this is okay. But when you get really tall, like we kind of are here, we need more of a transition. So I have to work on that. Um, but yeah, I went through this area and I, cause I, like I said last time, there's a lot of buildings that were like the same. So I went through and I've changed some of them. I actually downloaded a bunch of new sort of apartment blocks too, which is good. So we have more variety in taller apartments. Like for example, this one here, I really like this on the edge of the park. I love that sort of roof line there. Um, oh, and also, so I, I mentioned last time how I got rid of Plop the Growables. One thing I forgot to enable with Rico uh, is when you're plopping and you're only using the Rico mod, uh, they don't place with the historical. Hang on, I'm trying to find a building. Let me just go all. They don't place with like historical on by default. So if I put this down, it would just be a regular building and then, actually maybe not that one. Like this one. And then it would change into another building as it levels up. And that was actually happening. And some of you guys noticed that throughout the episode. So there is a setting to enable that. So whenever I place something out, it will stay what I placed it. Because the problem was, I think this building in particular is sort of like bank looking building. It actually changed into something else. So I just put it back. And I've moved the clock tower there, which was one of the suggestions. It does have a tree right there, actually. So I might just quickly change that. I've got to set that to be gone. Uh, and actually maybe... I might just get rid of all of them because we might as well just put our own trees down. Like this station actually has a bunch of trees, which I might need to remove too, because there's one like there. But yeah, it's kind of just sitting there. I think that's kind of good. Um, I think it's definitely better than in the middle. So like, it, it means like when you're coming down this main road, which I guess at the moment is our main road, you can see the clock tower just there. Also put the Westin Hotel just behind it. I love this building there too, by the way. I think that's a really good looking place. Um, around here, I turned this into a three lane road because there was actually a lot of cars coming this way from the highway. Now there isn't, so I don't know how useful that is anymore, but anyway, uh, <laughs> that's that. A little bit of lane marking, and I think that's kind of it around this area. Oh, I just added a few more things around here. Uh, the buildings down the bottom of the park too. So some of these buildings, like this one's one of the new ones. This has a hundred households in it, which is epic. So it just sort of really helps the population. And this one as well is 44, and a few of them around here, like 80 households, like a bunch of those. And then I also added a high school here, and I kind of combined it with this other commercial building because I thought it kind of looked cool. I don't know, let me know if that's dumb. Also got like a tiny little alleyway in the back which I thought was cool. With actually another little shop back here too. Buy it all shop right there. Apparently we are around in the back alleyway. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Um, yeah, so there's our elementary school which I kind of think is a little, it's like a little low, like the building is so low and it's kind of right in the, where the downtown area might be. So I might need to move that maybe more over there, but we'll see. Now onto the other changes. You may have already noticed. Over here, I did a little interchange. This is a plan. I mean, well, I mean, if it's if you like it, we'll keep it. But it, it was like, I'll just try it and see what you guys think. Uh, so what I've done is just sort of raise up the highway a bit, done a few lanes here and there. Um, these three all sort of just at 90 degree angles, so you can come off the highway. This one is curved. I don't know, just thought it was cool. Maybe we can put something in there. It just made it a little bit different. I could always change it to be the same, but also went through and did like the lane markings and everything. Now what's going on here is we've got this left hand lane exits and you can go into the city or it actually goes into another slip lane that continues forward and goes underneath because that's how we connect up to this connection. Um, so the highway now essentially directly connects to this road rather than having to come down through the city. Uh, so basically if you're heading up this way, you can continue on this little road, like use that little slip lane, come down underneath, join out over here. Now, I kind of went a little crazy with lane markings here. Uh, yeah, I don't think it makes sense. I honestly think this would cause a lot more crashes than it would solve. So <laughs> ignore that. That will probably change anyway, because at the moment it's just this little country road. But the idea is, uh, ignoring the lane markings, the idea is this road, the highway sort of flows seamlessly onto this main road. And then there's also the other smaller road that heads out this way to where, where Bedford is, which will be like suburbs and stuff like that, like we've mentioned before. Uh, and then obviously the highway does continue this way too, and there'll probably be a highway exit up over here somewhere. Um, at the moment I've left this just straight going into that. That'll probably change, but at the moment that's just what it is. 
Um, yeah, so that was, I thought I'd get your feedback on what we think about that. I like it because I try to keep it really compact and small. And obviously, this connection here doesn't go every direction. So you're not using this highway connection to sort of turn right and go down this way on the highway. We'll have another connection up here, like I said. So if you did want to jump on and head this way, you could. But this one is purely just to connect out down this way um, and also come off that way. And I guess if you're coming off this way, you can also go left. But yeah, you know, it's not a full connection. It's sort of just one to help out a little bit. So that is that. That is the recap and the summary. Uh, the park is going well. Land value is pretty good, except for obviously these two buildings, which will hopefully will get better as we go on. I mean, like, look at this. Look at this land value. That's amazing. Except for these two guys. And the problem is if the land value is low, no one wants to live in it. So we need to... <laughs> we either need to change the buildings or... Um, oh, these aren't historical? They really should be. I guess because I placed them before... Well, I guess they're not changing because the land value sucks. These all should be... I should have gone through and done this, my bad. Uh, do I want that building? I don't know. These buildings are kind of ugly, but we'll see. But this one is, yeah. So all the newer ones I placed should be, and I'm going to make that one. Because I quite like the lineup of buildings we got here. So some of them will change, though. Cool, that's good. So we got a lot of residential demand. we got some uh, industrial demand, which I think we should build more offices. And I want to figure out... Oh, actually, there is something I wanted to do. I want more public transport because it is a nightmare. I don't know if you guys have seen this up close, but look how many people are in this station. Like, look at the people walking around these roads, by the way. It is nuts. Like, where's the next train? We have, like, three trains on this line, but it's still super busy. 291. And, you know, the train's not full, but they're pretty busy. And there's three, nearly 300 people waiting at that station there, which I think is probably this one. Yeah. So it's super busy. So this guy's coming in here. It's going to unload 290 passengers and then load up, what, like 300? Yeah, 324. Like, look at this. I love how they come down these stairs, by the way. It looks awesome. But yeah, no. So my, my point was, uh, I want to add some more public transport. And one of those public transport options is going to be an intercity bus terminal or station. Is that what it's called? What's it called? Station. I think it, like, fits, like, perfectly right here. I actually kind of want to put it on that road. But it makes more sense on the main road, doesn't it? Because that road's so small. Yeah, let's go that way. So that's going to connect there. And then I think it only makes sense to have a pathway. Let's connect through here as well. Let me just turn off snapping. That will come straight down there. So this will just go through here. So there's kind of like parking there. And that, okay, I need to move this building a smidge. Just so the pathway kind of fits a little bit better. So that'll, ugh, it's going to go there because that parking spot, stupid parking spot. I guess I could remove the fence on this building. Actually, maybe that's a better idea. Uh, the fence is kind of in the way. Yeah, that one. Remove that. You know, as, as angry as I get at Bob from time to time, he's pretty good. He's a pretty good guy. All right, that'll allow me to just do this. That's better. Yeah, so that allows that. And then this has got a bunch of bus stops. And I believe... I don't actually know. Does it get buses from outside of the region or is that just the name of it? I don't know. Anyway, so that will be there. So this will be like, obviously right next to the train station, which I think makes a lot of sense. Got parking right behind it. And now we're going to do some buses. I actually might get another bus depot. It's probably a good idea, which we're going to put, I guess, probably around here. You know what? Off this little road here too is good. It's kind of like a bit of an industrial zone, you know, with all these things around. So I'm going to put a bus depot just back here. It's also near this, which makes sense. Alrighty. So buses. We're going to go, we'll start from here. We're going to come out and go, I don't know. Well, really, we need to get buses through this area. These bus lines are probably going to have to change. But let's get some of them going. Um, probably just straight down to the park, because there's not really any point in stopping here. It's so close. And this will come up here. We don't really have any, like, there's nothing out here that you'd want to go to. Maybe we need a place, a destination, because we don't really have a thing. Uh, what about, what's this, university? What about another public library? We could get that out here. I just feel like there should be, because this is all residential. There's not even any commercial over this side. I feel like there should be something over here. So maybe we can get a library back here. Like here, move it back a bit, move it up, because it's a little low. And let's remove some of these trees because they're all inside of the building. Okay, that's too high. My bad. It was very hilly here, actually, which kind of makes it a bit difficult. 
something like this. And then this will come along the front. Uh, turn snapping back on. I want to connect to that road there, or... Hmm. I'm not actually sure what I want to do here. That did sound like it leveled up someone though, which is nice. <laughs> okay, one unit. Okay, what is this snapping going on right now? There's like a lot of weird, like, how is that? No, I want to snap. Can I do a 90 degree snap, please? There we go. That's what I want. And then this one as well. One unit, one unit. Oh, actually, I probably should join that. That's all right. We'll, we'll fix it. Okay, let's move. Well, let's flip that road. So it's going the right way. Let's move all of this. Line it up with this road. Whoa. Uh, and then join that up. Okay. I think I misclicked. <laughs> there we go. What the heck? What the... Guess it didn't move that with it. There we go. <laughs> Uh, this is like a little off, so I might just drag it over a little bit. Sure. Okay, well, those cars are floating, so that's great. No, you know, it's good. It's good. This is, you know, it's just all part of the process. You know what? I thought smoothing this would fix the cars, but I guess it didn't. I do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got a library there, which is good. Um, let's get this down. We should definitely get some more parks and stuff. One of the suggestions is a skate park sort of near the railway, which would be sweet, but I think I'd have to go over here, which is fine. It just, you know, the suggestion to put it under, but we don't have a skate park that small. We just have like this sort of default one. Now, I do want to do cargo as well. Um,. I still haven't quite figured out how that's going to get down into the city here. Like the cargo train. I would like to have one around near this station. Or maybe it doesn't have to be right next to it, but like maybe over here and it sort of branches off or something. I don't know. Like I, we, I feel like we need one downtown somewhere. And I did download some options. This is uh, actually a uh, passenger. That's fine. But I got a bunch of options for that. And then I think I have a cargo. There's a freight terminal. What does this one look like? And also it's got a, like a really small one like this. This is also a freight station here. So that'll be a cargo terminal. And then this is like a building, which is kind of cool. So we might be able to use this somewhere. I mean, maybe we can get it out over here somewhere, but I just don't know where the rail is coming from. Is <laughs> That's the main issue. Like, yeah, we got that rail that I, I sort of temporarily put, but it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and I don't have a connection from this industry all up here down to here because, I mean, we could use this, but I really don't want to use the residential suburban train line for cargo. Not a good idea. I think really what we'd probably have to do is maybe, let me have a look. I go into this view. So if we have all this industry here, which is great, we'd probably either have to come down this way somewhere, but it's just very mountainy. So we'd have to like either come around big detour or maybe down this way but then we have to go through the national park maybe you have to go around out they, yeah the other thing is we go around out this way because there is actually a connection here but we could make it a bit shorter and come this way and then come down the side here so that is a p potential so maybe i'll just let's just put it down and if it's no good we'll move it i mean i feel like that's how we do things so i'm gonna have this out here somewhere because I like this as an industrial, I want to say industrial, like I said in the other episode, industrial in like, you know, cargo and stuff, not like heavy industry. How close can I get it to this highway? Because I kind of want it like right there. Because I mean, it's a highway, so it kind of makes sense to just have this next to it, not like houses or anything. You know what? I'll do a little bit further back and then we can do like trees there or something. So if I put that there, I quite like that. The rail, on the other hand, I don't know how that's going to work. We've got this road here. Maybe it could go... Let me have a look. I would like this here. 
Now, this is all here, so it's either going to have to go over it or under it. And the, pro the problem at the moment is they're very close to the same height. Uh, if we go there, okay. And we need to get to here. There's a rail here, okay. Alright, let's have a look. So this rail could potentially go over, like, bridge over this, because that goes down a little bit. So that's, that's good. So what if I say, where's my brick? Here it is. Brick, bridge, and it's going to go do a curve here somewhere, okay? And I'm going to level these two to the same height as this, just so I can go up. Oh. Okay, and I didn't realize there was also a thing in the middle. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, fine. I just need to do it like this. <laughs> Alright, so nodes. There and there. Okay. Level to that height. There we go. Alright, so let's bring these up. And then we're going to need to move it. Actually bridges over this section. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay, where's another truck? Because I want to lower this. Probably put it right over the intersection because that would be a better spot. The van. I need like a big... Oh, here we go. Here's a truck. So these are like the biggest vehicles we're going to get coming under here. So if I pause it here, we can sort of then really lower it. Like it could be there. <laughs> Which seems low, but... I mean it is, but like... It's high enough, which is a good thing. It needs to be a bit longer though, because it's sort of clipping the edges a bit. If we have it like that, how's that? Like how close are we <laughs> to the hitting this? If I go down here into first person, hello? I mean, there's clearance. There, there's clearance. What about trucks? On oh, actually, when it left, it might have been a bit low. Yeah, okay, it's a little low. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go up a little bit. Oh, no, no. Like there. That's probably more realistic. Okay, that's alright. That's kind of the same height as the highway there anyway. Cool, so if I do something like that, let's bring that back. Can we somehow get this to look okay joining? Or is it going to just always be bad? Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, actually that's pretty good. I mean, that's there's a little bit of change in elevation. I think if we just stretch out the slope all the way down, that'll be fine. The problem arises over here, because this is all the different height. I think this building needs to flip the other way, because the rail's too close to the highway. I like the idea of that, but I think it needs to go the other way. So if we pick this up, flip it around... ...this way... I'll have to add another little road there, that's alright, we'll figure that bit out. Actually, let's maybe put a road there now. Um, now it's a freight road, so I might use at least a larger road so we can see how it's all going to fit in here. Uh, hang on. No, turn off snapping, there we go. So if we get this along here... Something like that, that's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. So let's select all this. Uh, it does come into contact with this road right here. I think we either need to bring it up, maybe. And then have like a key around it so it's a little bit higher than everything else. Yeah, I think it needs to go up because I think we're going to have to have a bridge here and a bridge over here somewhere. So this curve is sort of coming quite far out. I guess also this rail is probably going to... We're going to need some sort of passenger service going that way too, so... Which is what this originally was, so we're gonna have to try and figure all that out as well. Look, it's complicated, but we're, we're gonna work it out, okay? <laughs> we'll work it out. This is just... We're still sort of... This is all just planning, you know? Still... On that planning grind, you know? Okay, we can probably fit a bunch of cool buildings through here anyway. So I go here, we're definitely gonna go higher above this road. Maybe up to 8 meters at least? What does a bridge look like here? Uh, probably needs to go back a bit further. Turn off road guide for a second. And grid. And the other ones. If I put it there, it's probably going to need to be higher. I don't think that's high enough. So let's go... Yeah, about there. What are we looking like here? What's, what's this slope? 
So from here to here. Three percent? That's too much. <laughs> okay, this needs to move up higher then. Which we gotta be careful that it doesn't start looking a bit ridiculous. But I think we can probably make it work. Maybe. Otherwise, we'll just delete it all and 1.8%. I mean, that's probably still a little much, technically speaking, but visually speaking, I'm okay with that. Like, that doesn't look as crazy as before. Okay, then from here to there, we got to connect it up. I think we either... I don't know what we're going to do with buildings around here. It's, it's wild. we got so many raised rail lines. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Might be too much. We might need to dial it back at some point. Okay, let's get these to connect. Uh, this is gonna be- we could actually have more arches like that, because we could have like roads going under it. I don't know what would build out here. Again, probably warehouses and stuff. But that actually now connects up to that. So we could do something like this, and then... So what I was saying over here, not that, um, was we would get... Where do we find it again? In here So It's one of these. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Where the heck is it? Uh, landscaping? Oh, here we go. <laughs> the keys is what I'm looking for. I might need to download some more. because I mean, I know we've got like these ones, which actually one of these might be better. Let's try this one. So if this goes, what the heck is this? What the heck is, oh, this is a pedestrian bridge? No, no, but I clicked on this. Oh, I need to level the land actually up to that height. If I right click up here, Make sure we have the height selected. We could have more of this height continue out over here. So it's not just like the rail and stuff raised, but there's actually a hill here, which would probably make more sense, to be honest. Maybe over here needs to be raised up as well. That probably makes more sense. To have the land up and then this stuff is like cut down into it, I guess. You know? What do we reckon? I don't know. I think this is gonna... We're gonna need to play around with this, probably. Um... It definitely looks better when it's... Whoa! <laughs> we're gonna have, like, strength one. Oh, there we go. Let's bring it down. If I bring this down, let's just say, like, this out here. And we could, like, not level, smooth it. And then, like, these areas, um... I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Either they'll have to be, I don't know, just smoothed out quite a lot. Although the smoothing's not really working because it's not. Hmm. Doesn't seem to know what to do with it. But then it's like, what do we put here? Like, there's just such a random space. It's the problem with all the rail and highways. It creates like these divisions that we have to then try and work with. I mean, if it is, if we go back, let's undo all this. If we go back to when it was flat, we could then just use it for warehouses or rail yard or something, or... Whoa. Yeah, let's bring that back. Some of it can be raised up, I think. Maybe just this section, and then this can stay lower. Because we could probably use this. Alright, so then let's... Well, let's get a key in, because I think that'll probably help visualize more of what we're trying to do here. But that's going to come along... I guess. Let's select all of the nodes. And this is all going to be, I guess, at that height. Uh, maybe a little higher than that, actually. Yeah, about there. And then we'll move it, I think, in closer. It doesn't need to be that far out. I might turn it this way a bit. It should probably just be next to the building, like, sort of there-ish. And actually can go lower now. That's a bit better. Uh, and then... This could actually just sort of, yeah, merge into the rail here somewhere. Bring it up as high as I can before it, like, clips through. Yeah. That's right. And then if we just, like, lower this section down the bottom... Make this area here flat on the other side of the key, then we can sort of, this space is a little bit more usable. Which is good. Well. Okay. 
Now, I think because the building is there, it's kind of not fully flattening, but I think there is a way we can change that with another mod or something. Now, here is a little goofy. I think there's a couple things we could do. Um, we could move this road back a bit, which is probably the easier solution. Or we could do other stuff, but I don't know what the other stuff is. <laughs> All right, let's just go like this. Put that there. Okay, so that goes there, and then I need to let's try and get this sloping nicely all the way, at least to there. I guess not all the way, just to there. Maybe here to here. Okay, so then this section, I think we could probably put a key here as well, or just like trees, rocks, something like that. Maybe, I don't know if, well, I guess it could be like overgrown sort of stuff going on here. Maybe what about, uh, we go green bushes, density maximum. What have we got in here? Can't, can't build on water? Okay, well that's a new thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? I guess because there's a key here? I don't know. Let me unpause. Can't build on water. Well, that's just fantastic. I got... We have prop and tree anarchy on. I've got this on. I've got collision off. Oh, wait, no. I just put collision on. Okay, fair enough. Collision is now off, but there is no water there. So I'm not sure... Even up here? What the heck is going on? Okay, I can do it like that, but... I can't do it when it's single? It's interesting. I don't know. That is very strange. But if I what, do it like this, I can... Yeah, there you go. How strange. <laughs> I don't know. Get some of these in here. Is this working or is this not working? Might have to change some of those bigger bushes out because it's kind of obviously overlapping a bit. We could maybe get some... Get rid of that. That's too big. I'm just underground. I don't know if they should even be on the side of the highway though. They should sort of be definitely more like that. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know if a key would work better here. Probably. I mean, they're all on the road. Yeah, this is this is not working. Let's not do this. Turn the strength up to full. Uh, no, no one put... Where's my... I just want the tree brush. Why is that not a thing anymore? There, whoa, there it is. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Um, let's try just doing the key. Whoa. Oh, let's go into the wrong category first, don't I? There we go. Let's try doing the key here. If we have that along here. Select all the nodes of that. Oh, hang on. There it is. And let's just make sure those are all the same level. There's those, and then I guess make it lower because the road is higher, so we'll go a little bit below the road. Let's level this road out as well, because that'll make it easier. So the road will be the same height as the freight terminal, which makes sense. Oops, I didn't mean to duplicate it. Dang it. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> okay, nodes. So let's select that one, that one, that one. Whoops, too far. Out there. Okay. So that's that's alright, that works. It's a little funky here, maybe. Oops. What if we just pull it out just a smidge? A little bend. It's kind of a bit maybe more like that. That's a bit better. It's not too bad. Okay, and then this road. We come down. I guess it's just going to come down here and then not go anywhere else because... Hang on. No, don't snap. It's going to go here. And then... Here. And then we'll just put some like, I don't know, like a warehouse or something here. Because if it goes any further, like we're not connecting to this, we're not bridging over it as well. It'll just be there. Alright, so then for this road, I'm not sure if this, how this should, where this should go. How it should connect. Because at the moment, if we look at it, We've got highway connection here to the city, and then, I guess, here. This one was good. 
to have an additional connection, but I don't know if we should just... I'm, for now, I'm just going to leave it as like that direct connection because I don't mind that. I know some of you guys weren't a fan of it, but I really don't mind it just doing that. I guess a bigger question is, how is this going to connect? Because <laughs> if we just go straight here, which makes the most sense, it's going to create a lot of issues having that tiny little intersection. So maybe we just have to come along and just come further down. Like there. But we're going to think about it, like if you're having like these big trucks coming up here as well, like maybe we should try and make it a little bigger. Hang on, turn off road guides. Let's go three maybe? Three? What if we do something like this and then slope it up? Will that look okay? 8.5%? A truck could do that. Yeah, no worries. That'll be fine. Let's actually add another node, maybe. Oh, uh, control space. Is that how I get? There it is. To, let's go to there. And s oh. There to there. 6%. It's a bit better. And then maybe I can even bring this down now. Nope. Where's that node? It's there. If I add another node here, the key. Yeah, I don't think I'll be spending this much time on freight terminal that we might not even have here soon. <laughs> so maybe I should move on from this soon. Because I don't know how much I want. I mean, I do like this. I think this is cool. Because I think it kind of fits in, and then we'll have some more stuff going on here. And the ra I guess the rail at this point is, can we even bridge it over this road? Because that's... And actually, we probably should have another rail here, which we can probably do. Now that I look at it, which is good. Can I parallel on that? Because that'd be a lot easier. Hmm, control space here. To... Come on, control, control space. Sometimes it works and sometimes it just doesn't. <laughs> Come on. Eh. Eh. Okay, it's not working, guys. <laughs> I just built it myself. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... There. To... I don't know, there somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Select these. Set it to that height. Uh, we're going to set it to elevated, because... Oh, hello. There we go. We're going to select it. Slide it in here. Move it up so it's actually on top of the key and not under it. There it is. Because if we don't have a bypass rail here, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Key is definitely higher than all of this, but if we join to the rail here, potentially... That'll work. I said potentially, remember? I didn't say it would. Okay, right. Okay, right. Let's try a node controller on it, maybe. Huh. If I bring this all the way back here, maybe, and bring this all the way back. I mean, that helps. <laughs> it looks visually like absolute hot garbage, though. Come on. Just look good. That's all it has to do. Okay, that camera movement's really annoying. Come on. Come come on. Let's move this node down. <laughs> is this is this what it's gonna be? If I slope it, square it. Reset it, square it, slope it. I don't know, I'm just playing with settings to see if anything changes. I mean, I guess it looks the best that, what if I bring it like this? And like this. Okay, that's worse. <laughs> okay. Um, what if we use this rail? Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I mean, it looks completely different is the only problem. Um, and there's no ground version either. Which I guess is fine, but... 
Ah, oh, that looks so much better though, but the problem is it doesn't match anything. <laughs> okay, what if what if I use this instead of the brick? Oh, that works better too. Okay, it's just the cat areas. Can I remove those? I think I can. Can I use this somehow? None. And then if I say this one and this one. Oh yes. Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. No controller. And then let me just Where is it? I bring these back. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I can't undo that. <laughs> Reset. I bring it back. Is that gonna... A similar issue, but it's not as bad. What is that like? That's better. We're just gonna get that little gap. And I'll hopefully smooth out these <laughs> slopes and stuff. But if we can just like... I mean, that's not great, but it's better than before, right? I guess maybe the answer is like custom... Um, rail tracks from the workshop. I don't know. It's look, it's better. Um, that's middle. There's one here. That's middle. I feel like that should be sloped a bit. Uh, that doesn't really help, does it? May oh, can I do this one actually? It can. That one. that needs to be sloped. Oh, can't slip any of them. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, like I said, I probably should spend less time on this. I want to select this one. Why? Why do you make it so difficult to select the second one? That one. I'll go this way then. No, I don't want the key. <laughs> so that's a two percent grade change. Not ideal, but. Look, it works. Okay, this one is a little jank here, so that needs to come down a bit. There we go. By gum, I think I've done it. Kind of. I mean, it's a little glitchy there, but heck yeah. I think I did it. Uh, and then cue next episode where we demolish it all and don't use it. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll try. I'll try, I'll try to use it. So if these come across... Let's just say, first of all, these guys should be the same height as over here. Second of all, we're going to move them. Back, so they're right about there. Alright, third of all, we need to adjust the height of the road, because obviously that's a problem. Probably like there? How's that? That's alright. Okay, I think we've got something. I do think we've got something. All right, water-wise, let's run a pipe under this road here. Okay, that sort of lagged and put me off center, but whatever. And then we'll go up here. I'm just gonna go straight down. Ah, oh, lagged and went like that. <laughs> Okie dokie, so that's got water. This is a freight terminal, so it's operating normally. But it doesn't seem to have an option for it. Any inner city freight. I know it's not connected anywhere, so it's obviously not going to do anything yet. Which, speaking of which, I should probably just turn it off, because there's literally no point having that on. Oh, it makes them unhappy, though. Oh, just a commercial. That's fine. Well, let's... Uh, can we get a nice warehouse or something here? Because that's that's really what I want to put here. What have, what have we got? We've got uh, warehouses. Old warehouse. What can we do? What's going to fit nicely here? So these all go length... Oh, that's a, a long boy. We do like this, and then... What's this? Warehouse yard. Small warehouse. That's pretty big. Medium. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. I do like this one. Let me move these down so they're closer to this. And then all back here, probably just want to paint it this. An industrial zone looking place. So this could be, I mean, resource just like zoned commercial goods. So we just get commercial goods that would deliver to these guys. And then this could be, uh, what else? Like farming products, unique factory products, commercial zones, metals, animal products. Probably just more commercial because 
we don't need that other stuff here. But yeah, so that will just get some deliveries. So stuff would be delivered here is the idea, and then into the city. That's kind of how I want that to work. Kind of feel like we could get some sort of factory here, like just an old factory. And what do we do here? Do we just do... Let's do a leveling of this as much as we can. Okay. That down. And then I'm going to do a fence along here. So we're going to go... Uh, where's the fence again? Here it is. Fence. I want like... um. Oh, this one? Yeah, oil industry. Okay, turn off all the snapping. Thank you. I'll come down here. Under there. And then I guess I'll just bring this a little closer so it's not... Whoa! Okay, that completely changed all of that. Maybe like there? Nice, it was a little more level, but... That's alright. Can I move it? Oh no, I can't use it to change height. But yeah, something like that, and then we can put like something here, you know? Nothing big. Uh, parking. What about. Well, let's have a look. What do we got? Industry. It says, I like the little shipping containers, but is there one that's not so. Ooh, some of these are kind of good. This is a workshop of. Warehousey thing. What does that look like? miscellaneous old building. What do, what do we reckon of that? It's probably alright. And then maybe here if this is like some sort of... Well, let me just paint this like this and then on this side will be this grass. Probably put like bushes or something around it. So we do that and then I think I have some decals and stuff. But that's what I want. So if we go... I don't know where it is. Let's just go in here. Decal. Oh, I've got a basketball decal. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in. <laughs> there we go. Some place one, please. Ah, oh, basketball. <laughs> no, I want big suburb yard decal. What the heck is this? I don't know. I don't know what those are. They, they, they just came with some sets. So like, I don't know. I want some like scuff marks or something, you know? That makes sense. Like dirt. Hmm, mulch. Small. Okay, that's too small. Stuff like this. Ah, oh, broken glass. Cracks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like this kind of stuff, you know. Make it look a little bit more worn out. Mm, exposed cobble. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Some stains. Mud. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Maybe like here, we'll put like a truck there or something. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, oh, oil spill. Heck yeah. <laughs> Some puddles. I don't know how much I actually want to put out here, but you know. Just something that makes it look a little less nice. And then here, green bushes for sure. Let's turn the uh, density down a bit, maybe. Whoa, okay, that's too much. I mean, I like it, but it's going to make it my game laggy. <laughs> so if we do like this, I just want this like edge to be grown, and then we go down here and obviously remove them off the road. And sort of just cut it in a bit. That one. Yeah. Get rid of that big one there too. Okay, so that's there, and then need some like, um, I don't know, like what could we put there? Either just like some parked cars or something, or ploppable. We got prop. Industrial props. What do we got? Why can't I see it when it's here? Oh, I think it's snapping to something. Some containers? That kind of makes sense. What if I do a line of. Oh. I think I need to rotate them, right? 90. Yeah, there we go. But I really like some containers here. Maybe some here. Oh, there's actually a door there. Hmm. 
I don't know, something like that. Cargo container? What's this one? Just the same one. Oops. Dang it. No, put it back. No, it's, uh, the undo it mod sometimes just doesn't undo it. <laughs> I, I, I destroyed some, uh, <laughs> some stuff there. That's right. Pack of fire. What are these? Oh, just different ones. Oh, more like rough looking ones. What if we just put those in front? I don't know. I don't know how that would actually store these containers here. Probably not like the way I'm doing it, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> Hang on, let me do some spacing up here. A little down, a little down. I was going to get some just along the back here. I don't know how you'd get those, though. I mean, I guess there's a, a driveway there. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it's just, it just, it just is, okay? What else we got? These are really small, I just kind of want some big stuff to put out here. I mean, I, I get that's the thing with, um, assets, but I feel like we need something big. Rocks, kind of cool. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta get that mud back, because... That looked cool. Roof platform. What is this? That's a thing. Okay, so for a whole industrial area that I may or may not be using, um, putting a lot of time and effort into this, aren't I? <laughs> okay, let me say, get my mud back. Where's my big mud gone? Do a couple this time, there you go. Yeah, why not? Let's just go with that. And then maybe, can I get a little? Just a little. Uh, some like bushes or something. Looks like it's overgrown a little bit. Is that just place two? Yeah. I always gotta turn the strength down because it loves to like spam a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I feel like it's sort of growing in a little bit, kind of. Okay. I. I yeah, I don't care, it's overlapping. I just want it there. It's also floating. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, that's alright. I know there's no water there. I'll fix that in a second. Alright, let me grab this fence. I feel like we should probably have it. It's along the rail here, maybe. I don't know, just there. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, okay. Um, decal, big, I think it's just called big, and the puddles, leaves, road damage, mud, seashells, cobble, road wear. See, I just want some stuff back here because it seems like, I know it's not really a road, but okay. I don't know if that just placed 10 or if it just made the sound like it did. Okay. <laughs> okay. A little sidetracked. I was doing buses and then we ended up doing that. But I, I like that. I think that works. I hope we can actually make this functional. I guess from this point, we kind of just have to figure out at, you know, at some point how we're going to get over here. If that's where we're going to do the port. Or we just move the port and do it somewhere else. It didn't have to be over there. Maybe we just have the port over here somewhere just build like a thing going out. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. All right, so I spent all that time making a public library out here, so we have a little, uh, wait, is it going dark? No, I don't know, I always feel like it's going dark in this game. <laughs> I guess it's not. Um, which we should actually have a look at this place at night time. Don't worry about all those warnings over there. Uh, it's fine. Um, so we did the, the public library. I think we do need some more, let's get some more, um, residential. Just trying to figure out how I want to do it, because I definitely want to build out over this area. I guess we should still have some... Well, let's build some bigger roads. So let's get some of these. Uh, so this road's going to continue... Hang on. I need snapping back on. Snap. Snap. There it is. So that's going to continue to there. And then maybe... This road turn and come down? Yeah, maybe that one comes down there. Um, that's there so we don't really have a road then around the back i'm just i guess it should still be grids and stuff let me turn. i'm going to turn collision back on just for a second so i can make sure i destroy these houses 
Um, so it's gonna come straight down this way, I think. And I want to do smaller roads through here, I think. But this one's gonna come straight up. Like that. And I want to do like maybe smaller roads in the middle. Or maybe this one goes here. And we sort of zone in this section. Alright, let's remove those trees out of the way. We'll just have to come back and put some trees in again. I'm gonna remove them in here. Oh, whoops. I removed some of the park. I removed like half the park. I'm gonna remove it inside the residential area because it's probably overlapping a bunch of stuff. Now, as far as, so this road, um, you can see we've got the highway here. So if this is where a stadium's gonna be, I'm just trying to, uh, I'm not sure how, maybe we should have a little bit of a setback. Like, should we have this road sort of travel around the back and then maybe either have like tree separation from like where the stadiums are and then this like main road. We also got the highway, which I've got to figure out how that's actually connecting up because that comes underneath um, to this point. So let's build a bit of a setback to like here. Yeah, I actually, I like that idea. So it's going to run just behind that area. Let me rebuild this road. Because then in this section, I actually... Oh, that's a completely different road. So I actually don't think I want to zone here. I think I just want to do like trees. Have like a really green space in between these areas. Do I think it'll work? I think that'll be nice. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, we could do... I think it could be really cool to have like a road come down here. I don't know, road, a pathway. Like some stairs or something. Now, I said this highway. I guess it should maybe come out further down here. Let's... What if we say this road... Because it was... It's going to end up at the... If, the... if the port ends up being down here, it's going to end up here somewhere, okay? So I'm going to have it turn... Like this. And let's say to here. And let's for now, uh, get rid of those trees. And let's have the highway pop up just here. So we're going to say it's going to come up. Well, what, is, how, what the heck? What did I just do? Oh, I pressed F. F like tilts my camera. Okay, weird. <laughs> so it's going to come up here. No, I shall bring it a bit further back. Maybe like here. Yeah. Let's say to here. And I'm going to go back 10 units and we'll go down. Uh, oh, normal mode, please. Uh, 10 units. Do the same over this side. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Hang on. It starts at the regular height. There we go. <laughs> 10 units goes down. Okay, and then obviously the one on the left is going to come up and that one's going to go down. Now the question is whether we allow this exit to turn left and come back down that way or we... Or this exit, sorry. Or we um, do a separate set of tunnels that connect to it. I'm not sure. But we'll figure it out. We'll lower those down a bit so it's not messing up the land as much. So those are now do that. Let's get rid of these. Essentially just want to connect up to those two tunnels underneath, which is good. So if we go... Oh, where's my road? There it is. Let's see if we can just do a connection from here to here. We can. Let's do that. Let's say from here to here. Okay. That one's all going the wrong way by the looks of it, which is fine. Can I go underground, please? Why am I not seeing underground? Oh, there we go. Let's flip that around. Okay, that. Okay, so something like that. That corner is kind of annoying me. I kind of wish it did a better job of that. I might, maybe I'll just do that myself. Uh, there we go. More like that. Yeah, and then maybe if I try connecting them now, we'll do a better job. Ew. <laughs> Hang on. Take it back a bit further. Okay, how about now? Come on, just... Yeah, there we go, that's better. Oh, we did it all the wrong way. Okay, so something like that. But we'd also have to... If we're having the stadium too, we'd also have to have an exit for the stadium. So maybe we... Maybe these for now only go like this way. And obviously at the moment it's a dead-end road. So it's just gonna join here. 
But I guess ideally it would go this way, but you wouldn't be able to turn left. Uh, and in the similar vein, you probably wouldn't be able to enter from that side of the road. We'd have a different entrance and exit for that. But for now, I'll just leave it. It looks really dorky. I don't know any other word to use for that. <laughs> but it would continue. We just haven't unlocked the tiles yet. I'm actually seeing if we can... I'll do that so it doesn't look as bad. Uh, I'm actually seeing if we can unlock the next tile the natural way. Because we're not that far off. I mean, we are, but we're not that far. Like, I think it's possible if we zone like this area, for example. Um, okay, so this is good. This is good. Let's... Um, I don't know why I even have it paused. These over here... I guess I need to join here at some point. They'll probably need to move. Like all when we turn the when this isn't a roundabout anymore, which it will be at some like it won't be a roundabout forever. At some point it will change. Is this gonna make it a donut if I put it here? Oh, I kind of did. Not too bad. Alright. These are here. They're actually now connected, so you, people can use that to get to the other side. I wonder if they will. I, I mean they might do, I guess. Hey, that guy's using it. Sweet. <laughs> so that actually connects from here over to here, which is a bit weird at the moment because it just ends up over there. But anyway, so through here, I was thinking maybe we do the smaller roads uh, to fill in some of these mid sections. So we just go like this, this, that, and then we'll just try. We'll try zoning it. I'm hoping that it's just going to work. Maybe we can disconnect it there. Around the library. That might work. Same with this one. Will that work? Hmm. I feel like that's going to create more problems than it's... What is going on? There we go. <laughs> hey, when some, I get like stuck between underground and overground view sometimes. All right, let's smooth this out a little bit. I feel like this could be like a park through here. So what I'm going to do... I'm also going to remove these houses for a second because I don't want you guys there anymore. Goodbye. This will be like a, not like a big park like that, but I think we'll do like some of the actual like park buildings, like maybe a tennis court or something, you know, that kind of stuff. Because we don't have a lot of that over here. This is kind of just more open space, more built up, but this can be like recreational kind of stuff. Okie dokie. So, uh, I don't like any of these houses, I don't think. So, I'm going to remove these. I think maybe what I should do... Let me see if I can make like a townhouse thing, a uh, theme that works. All right, so I've got a little theme I made and I selected the townhouses I have in game. Now, whether this is actually gonna look any good or not, cause I, I mean, obviously it's just gonna zone in whatever it thinks. Uh, it's quite hilly through here. The grids aren't perfect. So I am a little curious to see how the game does this. Remove those ones as well. Um, well, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> I guess we will see what happens. Let's get rid of that. Let's just zone in. It's all low density too, so I don't know if it's going to, how many people are actually going to live in it. We have Bedford Square here with the theme. Let's see what happens. Um, I guess we also don't have any pipes or anything out here, so it might be really bad. Let's see. All right, let's get some pipes. Look, if that doesn't work, I'll either just have to do it manually or download more houses or I don't know. I don't know, we'll just have to figure it out. We'll see, we'll see how we go. I just wanted more town y looking things, near, at least near the city, you know? Because I don't think I want high rises like as we start going up the hill, for example. The other problem is I might not have enough for it to look different enough, although these are the same, obviously, but they have different roofs, so I don't mind that. It does seem like these potentially are the only level one houses we have, because that's all we're getting at the moment. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's all right. There's two households in each of those, so it's not less than that, which is good. Ooh, there's a big one here. Okay. You know what? I, I mean, I like that better than what we had before, like the houses, so... I actually don't mind that. Now, Bedford... <laughs> this is called Bedford Square, annoyingly. We've got Bedford over there. So this isn't part of it. This is. So... Now, this theme I made only has residential in it, so I can't really zone anything else. And only low density, so... I can't really zone anything else in the area, otherwise it won't work. Those houses aren't going away, so I'm gonna just get rid of them. Goodbye. And also you guys. So these, I think... Actually, you know what? I might be able to do... Let's have a look. Can we do like a park here or something? Like a... A skate park. I feel like we could use a skate park somewhere. Get that here. 
That actually might help these guys down here. Oh, one of them, one of them is actually fine now. I think it was this one before, right? This one's still not quite happy with the uh, the land value. It's pretty good. <laughs> like, look at this. Just that guy. I'll get the buses in. I know I have, I've been putting that off. The residential demand is being met at the moment. So these, that's a four by four as well. Dang, it's just a big block. You know, not, I'd probably like them closer together like these guys, but I gotta be honest, I don't hate that. I don't, I don't hate it. I think when it fills in more as well, it'll be even better. I think, yeah, we got some missing zoning in the middle here for reasons that I'm not quite sure. Wait, why isn't that zoning? Force zoning. Hmm. I don't know. What the heck? Why is that not? <laughs> There's something there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, that's so weird. Let's smooth it. Why is that not zoning? What if I just have a road? I don't know. Go back to regular, no priority. What if I just say there's a road? Yeah. Then get rid of the road. Ah, oh, look, now it has zoning. I don't know. That was weird. Okay. Well, anyway. I'll just get rid of those two so they're not. Oh, but the, but the, what is this? Like, why, why are there such random gaps? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay, so over here, uh, probably just more high density there. Got a nice library in the middle, that's good. I guess this area here is also housing. I'm not quite sure why I didn't zone that, but I will zone it now. Very nice. Now, we probably should get some commercial, like, at least corner shops sort of nearby. Now, I literally have only low density in this theme, which is probably a problem. I should probably add the other stuff in, but... Uh, I might have to do another theme for that because the thing is that I can select multiple themes but if I select this and we'll get the other houses in it which I don't want so or I just have to play stuff manually but I don't really want to do that right now let's have a look so we got some stuff here let's say this zone is the regular zone this one here Sunset Park let's get some shops maybe on this block um, I'm going to take zoning off of this road I feel like that road doesn't need it maybe even that one yeah that's a bit better and then here could potentially have commercial, like there. And then we could have like trees and stuff there. Okay, let's do buses that, that I said I was going to do way at the beginning of the episode. We started it, we just didn't finish it. Okay, so bus, we're going to come down. We're going to go through here, down the bottom of the park, uh, near the library. I kind of want to go through this suburb too, so I'm not sure how I want to do this. Um, we'll do it. Let's go here, and then we'll go up through this district and sort of just come back around it this way. Um, it's a bit awkward, but it's good enough. There. And then, so this one is just a really basic bus line. Oh, gosh. Really? You have to go down? You can't do can they really not just turn right into this? Surely they can turn... Hang on. What if I add a node? There is a node there. What if I edit the node to like... Bend. Stretched. What about a stretched node? Does that help us? It doesn't. What about... A uh, crossing node? <laughs> nope. What about a U-turn node? No. no. What if I put it back here? No, that just... What, how? Just turn into it! <laughs> Dang it. Um, okay. What about... A road? That's still- how does that still not help? <laughs> I don't want you going down to the highway to turn around to get to the bus station. Okay, what about... We move the bus stop and flip it. Uh, and then we add it. Why 
mean does it have to why does it have to turn around somewhere else? <laughs> Can I make this a bus only road by the way? Oh well we've got parking here, that doesn't make any sense. I think I need to make this a bigger road. It's really small. Actually, let's go. What about if I do this? What if this comes here? Okay. This is like a little turnaround for the bus. How's that? Does the bus want to use that? I didn't realize it was going to do this thing where it... What the... Use this road! I hate this. <laughs> I hate this building. Why does it suck? <laughs> Guys, what's wrong with my bus terminal? I thought they could just like... As if it can't just turn in. Like go in and then just turn out that way. Why does it have to go down here? That's so... Emotionally upsetting. And also, can't you just use this little road that I just added? <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Uh, well, it's, I mean, I guess it, how does that also not have road access, by the way? Isn't it literally on this road here? Confused. Or is that, is there another bus stop that it thinks is there still? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's up with that. Alright, buses, bus line one five are up to, so this is a new one. Um, I guess it can be blue because we're in the city. Let's go bus line five. This is gonna be uh select types, school bus, bendy bus, double decker, mini bus, super bendy. I mean probably just regular bus. Quite a few people wanting to use it, so that that's good at least. Let's go four buses and see how we go. Maybe they'll like work it out a bit better. I'm also going to slide this over a little bit. And maybe they'll work it out a bit better once they're driving. Oh, there you go. Now at least they use that. That's good. Wait, it just turned in here. Well, why does it... No, what? I... Uh, that looks so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> This makes me want to cry. It's so ugly. Uh, what about one lane road, no parking? And I say it's going to be 12th. Okay, that's actually bigger than I thought it would be, to be honest. Okay. Roundabout. Uh, oh. What the heck? happen. Eight. Okay, that's better. How's that? Well, it should be a little bit neater. At least it look- Whoa! Okay, it's a little off-roading there. Hang on. Oh, I guess because there's like- Yeah, fair enough. Let me just pull it back this way a little bit further. There's this section of road here. Okay, can we not have a weird- off-roading bump. It's good, guys. It's good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> what is that? Okay, that's good. I mean, that bit works. Huh. <laughs> okay, there's gonna be a better way to do this. I don't know. I'm not... not thrilled with this bus station. I thought it'd be nicer than it is. That bus can barely fit around that road as it is anyway. Look at that. I like a little something in the middle of this, you know? A little something something. Probably not a tree, because wouldn't that like block your view? Look at all these people using it. Sweet. Yeah, how about some... Oh my gosh, did I just place a hundred of those? Oh no, it's just lag. Hey, when it like makes that sound, it's like... I placed a whole bunch of them or something. So those are the ugliest bushes I've ever seen. Why am I placing these? <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's paint it. <laughs> and there's like street lights all over this thing too. Like they're huge. <laughs> Guys, it's just not going right, okay? Let me take it off that at least. There we go. Okay, and there really shouldn't be a car parking right there. That's a terrible place to park. Okay, we got a lot of people going to the bus station at least. That's good. How are the other bus stops going? It's alright, you know. Okay, 30, 23 out of 30 people. Alright, let's do another bus line. Alright, so we're going to go from the next stop 
here, and this one's gonna go... Oh, you know what would be good, actually, is a bus road here. Because I don't want regular cars coming down here, but having a bus road would actually be really useful. Um, let me just get rid of this little connection. I'll just... because otherwise it will create a little bizarre one. Yeah, so this... I don't know if I need to... do I need to manually set this? I might do. Yeah, I do. So no cars, no cars. Taxis can go, trucks, yeah, everything. Everything besides cars, really, is fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, and then I don't want people crossing here. Oops, crossing. Uh, oops. I do want the traffic to flow through. I don't want traffic lights. And I want this to... Oops, no, no. I want this to give way. So then the buses can go that way. Because that means I can go... Let me just get rid of that. I can come down here, like, straight away, which is good. Because I actually want a bus, I think, going to Bedford would probably be good because we've got a ferry stop there. I also did notice, I think we have a fair few people walking alongside of this, which looks ridiculous, by the way. So I think that'd be a good idea to have a bus coming up this way. So let's say, I guess it's just going to have to go pretty much from there directly here because there's not really anywhere else to stop yet. So let's just say we'll have a couple stops in Bedford. Because like the little school's there. And that's it. That's all this bus is going to do. It's not a big line, just a little one. Be the Bedford Express. So this will be... You could do a school bus because there's a school out that way. Or maybe a mini bus. Let's try a mini bus because I don't think this is going to be very busy. Let's get... We're going to get four of them though because we need that to be frequent enough. Holds, oh, they hold 20 people on the mini bus. Actually, that's probably fine. Cool. So we've got the little Bedford bus, which is great. Uh, now, getting over this way, obviously there's a train. So I don't think we need a bus line particularly going up this way, but we could if we wanted to add a bus line. I don't think I need to particularly. Um, but I might do one through this area somewhere. So let's have a look. We'll stop there. Maybe go through the middle this time. We come up around this way. Just trying to think of the best way to go. Stop by the Apple Store. Yeah! Um, hmm. Very busy through here. Let's go here because the shopping mall is right there and I think they can enter here. I saw someone come out of this. That's probably a good spot. Come up this way. And then I guess we'll come through. Let's come down this side of the park, through the middle. Oh, that's not a road. Fair enough. Um, kind of a bit awkward at the moment because the bus lines are just going to change so much, I think, as we build more. But we just need a bit of public transport at the moment. Okay, this is kind of awkward at the moment. We're just going to do like a loop around this area, which is not ideal. We'll stop at the elementary school, I think, down here. And we'll just come back. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. Not not a great bus line, but it'll do. Do a red one. It's like type bus. Do four of those. So we got a few buses going here. Um, I'm wondering if we should have like a little road going through the park, but maybe just for like buses and stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we should leave it. So this should at least get some people down over here. Whoa! Okay, that first bus line is really busy. This second one should actually take some of the load off that first one. We'll see how we go. Now, yeah, I don't know. This bus terminal is kind of it's kind of weird. We might need to move it. Maybe it should be somewhere else. I don't know. It's a bit strange. I'm also not sure what to do here, so <laughs> we'll see. How's this going? It's pretty good. We still have a lot of demand, but I guess we don't actually have any houses that fit in these spaces. That's why they're not coming in. Like, I don't think I have any townhouses that fit. Or they're like a higher level townhouse, so that it's not like leveled up enough. So maybe what we do... Let's... I'm gonna try deleting all this. So this is the 2x2 two two one, right? Oops, no, no, do not zone industrial there. <laughs> so this is... I'm gonna make it historical. And I'm gonna say... Pick this building. Oh not, that did not work. Okay. Uh right. Thought it, thought it would have worked, but that's fine. Um I think it's called was it a townhouse or is it semi? I think it was just semi, maybe one of these? No. See, I want all these buildings selected, but what level are these? These are level two, which is probably why they're not spawning in. This is I guess a slight issue. Uh what are those called? Detached. No, it's called It's called something. I've I thought it was called semi, but it's obviously not coming up under semi, so... 
Okay, the other way we can do it is... No, not that. <laughs> That's gonna, the other way we can do it is just duplicate it here. Okay, that placed really strangely. They should... Yeah, they do place. Yeah, if we just get these placed in... And then just like manually do it. But I kind of... I need to find it. Oh, let me, let me, let me find it. All right, there we go. I actually found I found the smaller version that's two by three, which I quite like. Because then we can just do this, and we'll get another couple of them, and we can just put them in. And it should be pretty quick to fill out this area. I think maybe it might be a good idea to remove the trees off the actual assets because it's going to look very repetitive, all of them having the exact same trees. But I can do that afterwards. Oh, I only got nodes selected. Buildings, please. If we just do this, flip them around. And put them like this. Um, kind of thought that it would like automatically go along the ground height, but that's okay. It's alright, right. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, so something like that. So now we've just got those sort of filling out that block a lot better. I think I do need to remove those trees because it is looking a little much. Like it's all the same. So if we just say this, remove, yep, remove, and remove. This means we'll have to place in the trees ourselves, but I think that's okay. So, hey, we got a different house over here. Look at that. <laughs> Actually gonna move these guys here so they're on the same road. Um, thought this was gonna follow the terrain. I, <laughs> I guess it didn't. All right, let's see if we can just change the land value around here as well, because that'll make a big difference. So maybe we could have a cemetery around here somewhere. We got this nice hilly area, maybe even just on one of these roads, maybe just here. Because that'll make him happier. Fire department's okay, but we could probably get another one down here somewhere. Maybe a little firehouse just here. It's like this kind of stuff is going to help our land value. And then if we get some more parks, which I wanted to do anyway. So if we say playground could go in here. Yeah, that totally works. And then we can do small park. What else we got? It's like a... What about the dog park? That's a classic... Actually, maybe here on this corner. That's actually a good spot for it. Yeah, cool. And then if we go a little pathway from here, because we might as well connect this up. Down to there. And I think maybe if we can build up some more solid pathways. It's there, for example. So it's like, kind of like that road there. That makes sense. And what do these look like if I just do this? Because I kind of want them to be staircases. I think I can actually download staircases, but we're just going to imagine that they're, they're stairs. So those are good there. I want to put trees along the front here. Now, I went back to zoning because I was kind of like, uh, I don't really want to build all this area to be exactly the same. I'm going to have this one street, the ones I placed. And then I'm going to hope that the rest of the stuff that builds in will look good. Especially if we're going to... I'm trying to get the land value up, so hopefully we'll get some different buildings that will fill the different size gaps. Ideally, because <laughs> if they're all going to be the same, that's all right. But I don't really want it all to be exactly the same because when I started doing that, I was like, mm, maybe it should be a little different. I'm hoping with some of these things in here now, the land value, yeah, it's a little bit different here. You can see already. I think it will change. And I think as we build some more stuff, it will change. These ones will always say the same though. They're historical. These ones aren't. So hopefully we'll see something different. Like we've got this guy here is a little bit different. He is a higher level. So that makes sense. But yeah, we'll see how we go with all that. It's looking pretty good though. Um, so as far as stadiums go, I do want to look into that. Um, where do we f even find them again? They're here. So we I don't really, I only have the default one. It's not that big. I'm gonna have to download some other ones, I think. We do have like a sports arena thing as well. And then of course we've got I think the varsity, isn't the varsity sports uh, university stuff bigger? Where is that? It's one of these. Museum, oh, museums. Oh, we gotta do those. Mm, okay, we're gonna have to get those up. Oh yeah, these guys are pretty big. So like, yeah, okay. So some of these will be quite good. So maybe we'll get some of these down here. Whoa, they're super loud, which I mean makes sense. Um, those guys might have a tough time. We might, oh my gosh, okay, these are really loud. Is that too close to have residential there, or will it be okay? Or will I have to maybe move it back a bit? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But yeah, around here. So maybe some of these. Maybe not all of them, because they're pretty big, but definitely some of them through here. And, and then probably like the other football stadium one. 
That's good. I think that's good. I feel like I didn't do much today, but I, I think I did. I think we did a good- we, we got some good stuff done. Maybe. <laughs> maybe? Guys? Maybe? <laughs> I tried. I tried. I'm gonna design some of this, though. I did want to build more roads, but I think that's alright. I think- well, we spent a lot of time on this section. Which I think turned out pretty well. I actually quite like this. I'm hoping that this interchange, these cargo rails, it'll all work. I'm hoping it'll all come together. Um, alright, so, well, I'm gonna leave this part here, because I've been recording a long time already. Um, oh, before I do, as I'm going, again, as always, please do leave feedback, uh, especially on this little suburban area we've got now. Uh, hopefully these trees, for example, will shield them from the noise of the stadiums. That was the idea, so there'll be like a tree line there, for example, you know, between them and the stadiums. So hopefully it's not so bad, but I guess I can't guarantee that because <laughs> it probably will still be bad. Maybe we can also download a sound barrier and put one along there because that actually might help too, but we'll have to see. Is anyone using this road down here, by the way? Oh, there are. Look at them. Look at them. They're coming down. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. So hopefully this develops up to have a few more varieties in these townhouses, because especially with them all using the same umbrella thing at the front. I might have to change that. Yeah, it's coming along. I like this area, I do. Great. Yeah, let me know what you think about this as well. I think this will be good. I think that'll be good. And if you have any tips about this bus thing too, because it's kind of annoying that they have to turn left and go around. But maybe that's just what they're going to have to do. Maybe we could do... Should it, I was saying about bigger roads, maybe we can make this road bigger at least. Just in front of the bus terminal. And then, because the one underneath I think is always going to have to be small just because it has to fit the parking. But this one can at least be a little bit wider so it doesn't seem so cramped. That's alright. I think that works. How many people use the buses? Whoa! Quite a lot actually. That's good. Bus line 7, not so much. Which one's 7? Is this 7? Find details. Well actually quite a few people using it. You know, we've got 36 people waiting for the old Bedford Bus Express. It's kind of cute. But the two ones going around the city, pretty busy. Alright, cool. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave comments, suggestions, feedback down below. I think, where are we at now? We didn't really get any population this episode, did we? It's kind of, yeah. I mean, if anything, we lost a bit. I guess I, I, in my mind, thought I'd do, I always think I'm going to do a lot more than I did. Totally got sidetracked by this thing over here. Um, I want to fill out a lot of this space with buildings and residential. Um, but maybe we'll start the university next time. We should probably get on with that. So then we don't have a giant gap over here. But until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.